Today for Mousetrap Monday, I'm excited to show you one of the rarest and most valuable mousetraps that I've ever seen. It's a metal box with a trap door in front and a cage on the side. It doesn't look like much, but to mousetrap collectors, this is a treasure and it's in excellent condition for its age. On the top here, it's kind of hard to read, but it says novelty with a patent date. This trap was first patented by Chunsi Orton of Glen Falls, New York on July 24th, 1877. And what makes this trap so special is how rare it is, its age and condition. This trap was made 143 years ago. Very few were made and even fewer survived. And we're gonna test it out in the barn. Now we know from the patent drawings, there's two chambers, a side chamber for holding the mouse once you catch it and a front chamber with a trap door. There's a piece of glass on this side and over here, there's the door that goes up and down. We'll lift up the lid and go ahead and set it. This slides in some grooves and it's held open right there with a catch. The mouse will enter, step on a pad, and when it does, the door slams down and we got it. Now what I find so strange about this mouse trap is why did they put so much work into building a window, a side chamber, a counterweight for a mouse trap that only catches one mouse at a time. In theory, all you need is a box with a trigger where it goes in and the door closes. So it seems like a lot of bells and whistles that aren't necessary. But the question is, will it catch a mouse? It wasn't sold for very long, so maybe it doesn't work. Let's go get our pet mice and see what they think of the novelty mouse trap. We'll test it with the lid open so we can see what happens. We'll lift up the door. It's all ready to go. Go on inside. Uh-oh, its body's still sticking out when it stepped on the trigger. Luckily that door's not sharp or heavy, but it looks like it might catch the mice's tail. Let's go put our mouse back in its cage and set up the trap in the barn with motion cameras to see what happens. Well, our first attempt with the novelty mouse trap was a huge failure. The mouse went in halfway, set off the trigger, just like our pet mouse and backed out. But I set it up again and I recently checked it with a flashlight it's evening and we got a mouse. It went in there enough to close the door. Now the front angle with the trail camera didn't turn on, but I got it with the side angle. I'm glad we got one. It's a really neat trap and I can't believe it's so hard to catch a mouse. What I'm gonna do is place our trap in the clear bucket so we can open it and see what we got. I'll carefully lift up the lid. There's our mouse in there and it's a non-native invasive mouse. I can't let it go, so instead, I'm gonna humanely dispatch it and feed it to wild animals. It doesn't wanna come out. Let's go set up the trail cameras and see what comes along and enjoys this mouse snack.
Well, even though the raccoon got there first, it was the opossum that enjoyed the meal provided by the novelty mousetrap. I also enjoy seeing the bobcat, deer, and other animals. It's always fun checking the trail cameras. Overall, I'm not impressed at all with the mousetrap design. And that's probably why it's so rare. It doesn't work very well, so they didn't make it for very long. Now, mousetrap collectors would love to add this to their collection. There are not very many left, and most of them are rusted and missing the lid. So I'm gonna place it in the collection and not try to catch any more mice with it. Now, I want you to guess how much this mousetrap costs. Leave a comment down below and I'll post the answer. Out of over 1,000 mousetraps I have in my collection, this is the second most valuable next to this one. This is my most valuable. I haven't shown this yet. It's incredible too. It's called the Royal Number no. 1. It was patented in 1879, just a few years after the novelty. Thank you so much for watching my channel and thanks to all the viewers who send me art. I love seeing the pictures. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking the button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.